Kirsten from JK Fiber Arts. Uh, this evening I'm going to show you how to do a uh, progressive blended bat on your drum carter. Uh, I have an Ashford drum carter here. Uh, I will assume that you know most of the basics, but this will be pretty basic. Um, the uh, fiber that I'm going to use is mostly merino. Uh, I have here a different merino from Camage Fibers. Uh, and this is some uh, bamboo, this beautiful purple shiny right here. Uh, so uh, I have a total of four ounces. Uh, you can see over here is the first bat I already took off the drum carter and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Uh, so um, there are several different ways to put fibers onto your drum carter. This is, I think, one of the, the more straightforward ways. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up the colors in the order I have them here in a row across the back of the drum carter here. Um, so we wanna put them on. Uh, I'm not gonna do a lot of uh, fiber at a time because I have seven of these to fit across. So I just start like this. Again, you don't wanna to put too much when you start here. You have lots of time to add. That's three, so I'm about halfway across here. And remember when you are drum carding that you never wanna hold the fiber uh, on the uh, liquor in here. This is the liquor in. Uh, you wanna keep your hands away from this one. It's cranking, it's very sharp. And you don't want to hold your hand on the fiber back here and like try to pull it or guide it. That will not go well for you. Uh, it will end up getting stuck on the liquor in and then it's a big pain in the butt. So you don't want to do that. Um, the uh, next thing here. All right, so I have all seven here. And um, hopefully you can see that across the back, uh, I am within these pegs. You don't want to go on the outside of the pegs. Um, I am fine with a little bit of overlap here and that'll even out uh, as we go through. I had a little less of this rose color. I'll just do a little more on the next pass. So here we go. Um, and again, I'm not touching any of this. It's all just gonna go right on in there like that. And if you do get something stuck on your uh, liquor in, you can just pull it off. Um, I use this tool right here. It's called a uh, uh, hairbrush cleaner, super fancy from uh, Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it does a nice job if you get anything stuck in there. All right, so that's my first pass. Uh, you can see that you're just starting to get the hints of the color on there. And we're gonna keep going here. And last time I used a lot less of this pink, so I'll probably use a little more this time. Oh, I always forget. Um, my uh, 20 year old daughter tells me that I am supposed to say like and subscribe. I always forget, I'm not used to that. <laughs> so if you are enjoying what you're seeing, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, now we've got three here and uh, we're gonna keep, uh, maintain our color pattern here. This is that this uh, bamboo is just awesome. Look at how shiny it is. It is crazy awesome. Put some of that in there. And then the final one is the gray. Mm, that's a lot. Let's do half of that. Okay. And all we're going to do is keep doing this over and over. And then I have some fancy stuff to add in here, so I'll show you that in a second. So I'm going to put this on. All right. And the key to doing this is getting down that good base layer. Um, I have this uh, burnishing brush here. This is from Cleans and Cleans. And uh, I pack this down. Helps to get that first base layer on there so it'll be easier to take off the drum card at the end. Uh, and then we'll just keep going uh, with this pattern. Um, I think I'm going to pause here and let's do some of our fancy uh, stuff here. So this is pulled, uh, recycled pulled silk, sorry. I like this better than the threads. It's a little bit more like roving. Um, and this, if you see um, across here, it just sort of picks up all of the colors in there. This will give your blend a little bit of a tweedy look. Um, and I, I just enjoy painting on the drum cutter. It's super satisfying, fun, and it looks really cool when you spin it. It just gives your yarn some dimension. Uh, this is a very basic art bat type of uh, 
technique. So you just put that on there. Don't worry, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It'll be lumpy, who cares? Uh, there you go. <laughs> and also, I would like to add a little of this sparkly shine here. Uh, and so put a little bit of this in there. A little bit of shine's always nice. And again, you can add in whatever you want. Um, you know, I have some soft silk that I really like to use. Um, you know, try not to go overboard on the sparkle, but sometimes, you know, how can you hold yourself back? Uh, so now we have that going, and then we're just going to repeat the process. So this is all kind of sandwiched in there. And now we're back to the white. And the pink. So when we're done with this, you'll be able to see it's going to be um, really neat. Uh, and you can have, uh, I'll talk to you a little bit about all the different ways you can spin it too. Uh, and then um, probably in the uh, a later on video, I will uh, show you what it looks like spun. And here's some purple. Now I'm gonna make this a little thicker just so you can kind of see what happens if you make it too thick. It's not the end of the world, but um, we would try to avoid that if possible. So here I have my seven layers and without holding it or touching it on the back there, I'm gonna crank this on, but you can see the kind of see this big clump right here. Usually what I'll do is just burnish this and uh, try to get that to pack down in there. And now that's the beauty of this brush. Um, even though there is a packer brush on here, uh, this does a really nice job and it keeps everything nice and smooth. I love this brush. And look, it's all packed down. Don't need to peel anything off. So I'm gonna uh, keep doing this. Uh, I'm gonna add in, you know, the sparkle and um, the silk. I, I like to end with it on the outside because you can see here when you roll your bat up, it looks really pretty. And I will show you that right about the time I get to the end, but you don't need to see the boring in the middle stuff. Just gonna keep repeating what we're doing every so often burnishing until I have all the fiber on here lined up in the seven colors. There we go. And now you can see how beautiful our progression is on there. I just love the way it looks on the drum card. It's so pretty. Um, what I'm gonna do is just get some more of this, uh, just a touch more of the silk, sorry. I have a bunch of it off to the side here. All right, so this is the uh, icing on the cake, so to speak. <laughs> so just gonna put some of this on the outside here. And again, just, there's no right or wrong, it's just whatever floats your boat. Actually, I think it'll float my boat to have a little more right there. Okay. And a little bit of sparkle here. Okay. Oh, that looks beautiful. And I'm just going to burnish this down. Alrighty. So now I'm going to show you how to remove this from the drum carter. So you're gonna to come to this metal track here. This is your doffer. Um, you only wanna work in this metal track here uh, with the doffer. You don't wanna damage the uh, carding cloth. I uh, have another video which I'm gonna show you about that. Uh, this is uh, just some very uh, basic stuff, assuming that you already kinda of know the anatomy of your carter. Uh, so you wanna stay on this metal. You wanna make sure you're the whole way down to the bottom here. And I find it's easier if you take it in smaller chunks. Uh, if you try to do it in a big chunk, um, you can damage the, the carter if you slip. Uh, I, I had a friend who uh, cracked one once. Um, so hopefully that will never happen. And just come along like this. Now uh, you just wanna make sure that everything is completely off of the uh, metal band here. There you go. And the other thing you always wanna make sure of, and this is what I typically forget most commonly, is to lift up your um, packer brush here. Take some of that off. All right. So now what you see is here is our bat, and look at the beautiful colors in the blend here. You can see those. Uh, so the best way that I have found to do this, um, and we've already burnished down, so it should be coming off the uh, drum carter, coming off the drum carter pretty easily, is put your hand, uh, I'm grabbing it kind of like I'm making a ponytail here, and then I'm putting my hand right up against the, the pins, and I'm going to pull up, and the wheel is going to turn, and I'm going to pull a draft off of there just a little bit. I'm pulling up, and I'm just kind of following down with my hand, and I'm pulling up. 
and I'm pulling up, but keeping my hand on those pins and just letting it come off. And right about there. All right. Now for the magic. See, uh, this is what the blend looks like. Um, look at this, uh, it's beautiful. Now wait till you see the other side, the, the what I call the icing on the cake side. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Let me put this out of the way here. All right, and oh, it's so pretty. All right, so now it's ready to spin. There's lots of different ways you can spin this from the corner. You can peel it off in strips if you want to do um, large blocks of color and then chain ply it. You can um, just grab it from the end and spin it like a barber pole. Um, you could uh, spin it from the fold with really long color repeats starting from here. Um, you can just rip off chunks and, and spin it however you want. But uh, no matter what you decide to do with it, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Uh, now I will... Uh, Fold this up so it looks all pretty. Um, the way I do it is just fold the ends over and uh, fold this little edge in and then roll it up like this. And then uh, you can see this is what it looks like see uh, this end and then you can see that end there the darker end and now also what I like to do is then just take this uh, finished end and then just roll it like this so now we have a, a total here of four ounces of this beautiful blended bat which is mostly merino a little bit of uh, pulled silk sari and some uh, bamboo and uh, some of this Stellina, and it's gorgeous. Um, it will be just beautiful no matter how you decide to spin it from this bat. Um, you can put a little ribbon around this and uh, give it as a, a gift if you want, or if you're gonna sell it, or whatever you're gonna do with it, but it's ready to go, and it looks fabulous. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.